I don't know. I think a lot of people are getting out of it too. I think during COVID, a lot of people got in, uh, started, and now they're getting out of it. So, you know, I see a lot of people come and go. Um, usually when I meet people, they're around for like a few months and then I see them kind of disappear. So, so when I moved into my apartment, the jackets all got mixed up, all the listed and unlisted. Um, and I didn't really have a lot of room to make it to the closet where the jackets were. So I never really cared about the jackets that much. I just always kind of just went by this system and you know, this is what was making me the most money. It's just doing clothing. Um, this is the stuff that like doesn't fit in the boxes in the little poly bags here. So anything that doesn't fit, you know, I finally got a rack here um, to put the clothes on. And I, I finally went through and was like, okay, I'm gonna go through all the jackets that are listed put them out here and I'll be able to see like what's listed, what's not. And this is it, this is it. All the jackets have sold. I haven't really been listing a ton more. And I have so many jackets in the closet that haven't been listed that I thought were just, I thought more were listed. So yeah, this is the rack here. When I fill it up, eventually you can get like connectors in the middle. You buy like another one of these on the other end and then like connectors in the middle and it will be like three times the size um, if I decide to store that many jackets. I don't know. I like to price jackets low. Um, they take up a lot of space, so I like to just price them low and get them out the door. So um, who knows how many jackets I'll actually keep um, in my store at any given time. But uh, if I need it, I can pretty much triple the size of this coat rack right here. All right, so we're slowly getting the home situated. So we moved in here, we moved the business, moved our personal stuff. And then I got sick, I actually got the flu. I'm finally feeling little better I don't know if you can hear it but uh, in my voice but yeah finally feeling a little better but yeah it's pretty rough uh, the business has been tanking pretty pretty bad so uh, yeah sales are down I need to really revive my store get everything back up to where it needs to be um, yeah being sick and moving it was just a lot of stuff a lot of stuff have not been able to work as hard as I would have liked but now I'm ready to go uh, got these trash cans in we got one right here, that way, uh, what's it called? The printer just goes right into the trash can and also like the little things that you rip off of the poly bags are gonna go in there. So that's super nice. There's another one in the other room. So we got the prepping station here. Bag of clothes goes right here. And then I cut the tags off and uh, here and then they go over to the <coughs> pile right here. But then I have this little trash can here to cut the tags off. I've had just like a little bit of little cardboard box that I'd have right here. Um, that's what I've been using for the entirety of this business. I finally have room for this uh, big trash can. So that's gonna be super uh, helpful. I was just prepping earlier, so the lights are still on. I uh, ordered some more boxes, so I can put some more boxes on these racks here. And this item sold in a day. I probably could have waited for a higher price. Uh, it's the brand Icebreaker. They sell like outdoor, like wool stuff. Um, this is a size women's XL. Uh, sold for 28 bucks plus $6 shipping. Again, probably sold it too cheap. I, I only listed it at $33 or something, which I think was already kind of cheap. But again, sold it a day. I could have waited, but that's all right. Got a quick sale. Let's see, it's 14 ounces. <coughs> and it's going to cost $6.78 to ship out. It's kind of expensive shipping actually. I only charge $6 shipping. So uh, yeah, I had to pay a little bit on shipping. Probably could again, just sold it for more. Yeah, all the processes are really starting to come together. Now that I kind of have more tables and trash cans and everything. Um, the house is becoming more in order. I'm really excited. Everything is kind of just uh, working out a lot better than it used to. So really excited about that. I mean, I have so much inventory that I just didn't have enough like room to list. I think, where is it? So here's the box. This entire box is just filled with jackets and like Armani suits and stuff that I just didn't really have enough room to list. And uh, cause yeah, I just had the system with the clothes. Didn't really have like, you know, the jackets and whatnot so um, like the jacket rack so now it's all getting set up properly all of these shoes are not listed I actually had way more shoes than this and uh, I had to condense it down to the ones that were like actually decently profitable 
Um, but yeah, I used to do shoes and then I just stopped because I didn't have a room. So I have, I've had these for like years, like just like Doc Martin shoes, like that I just never listed because I didn't have room. I've just stuck to this system because I actually had space for it. Um, so yeah, it's been a wild ride. I still have tons of stuff uh, able to list. I mean, look at this guys. I never showed anybody this, but like this has been sitting in my closet. Can you see this? It's kind of dark. Um, it's been sitting in my closet for years. All these DVD VCR combos that I just didn't even want to wake up. I didn't want to wake up one day and have all these things. Uh, like I have to ship them out because I just didn't even have like the proper space to store the boxes, the bubble wrap, even to like bubble wrap the item and everything. I just didn't have space for it. So now I got all this stuff ready to go. It's kind of cool because I have all this like inventory that's just been like, you know, sitting in my house. I can make some money on it. So in this closet literally is full of just jackets ready to go. Uh, so many. And then in the other room here, I have even more. I have a bunch there, a few addresses. Um, oh, right there. A few addresses, a couple jackets, and then in these bags are just full of jackets as well. And then one just sitting on top. I have one in there as well. So, um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Tons of jackets. So I got lots of inventory, lots of stuff to do. Um, yeah, let's pull another item here. Oh, this item took forever to sell. This is an old item. Uh, it's a Mountain Hardware fleece. It's like a fuzzy, I put fleece. What'd you put this as? It's like, it's kind of like um, faux fur almost. I don't know what you would call it, but uh, yeah, it's a Mountain Hardware jacket sold for $33.36 plus $9 shipping. Um, so f over a $45 sale. So good, it was just priced overpriced. That's why it took so long to sell. Man, I still feel kind of terrible, to be honest with you. I don't have, like, my energy back, you know? You know, I don't have, uh, like, a fever anymore. My body just hasn't, like, recovered, you know? But, yeah, now that I'm feeling better, really excited to make some more content. Really curious as to what you guys like to see, like, in other resellers. Um, or you guys watch this type of content. What do you want to see? Do you, like, do you guys like to see, like, just what sold, like... You want to learn or do you like more of like the entertainment like i like to see how people run their businesses and how they do their day-to-day -day. um do you like to see people out sourcing at wherever they like to find their items just general business stuff i don't know i'm kind of curious um kind of like what people like to see um, let's get to the next item here Ooh, don't be afraid of the tommy bahama i know a lot of people kind of feel like that brand's pretty saturated they don't like to sell it but Sold some pants, it did pretty well. Uh, it was a linen blend, so that was one reason why I sold the, um, for a decent amount of money. Sold for $22 plus $9 shipping. And of course, it's only gonna cost me $7.60 to ship out in this flat rate envelope here. Um, sourcing actually has been pretty good for me recently. Uh, during the summertime, I was kind of freaking out because I couldn't pick up enough items. Uh, it was getting really difficult. Obviously, it was really hot. I live here in Arizona, so it was like 108 degrees daily. Um, and yeah, it was pretty rough sourcing. And I was like, you know what? I don't know if reselling is going to be around for very long or whatever. Like, I don't know if it's just getting worse. Um, but then I kept thinking to myself, like, I'm sure a lot of this has to do with it just being the summer. And of course, um, you know, now that the winter time is around, um, I've been having a great time. The weather's nice and I've actually been finding lots of great stuff. So the summertime usually is just pretty slow. Um, so I don't know how you guys feel, if you guys are resellers or you just watch for entertainment or whatever, but uh, if you guys are resellers, let me know how it's been for you guys. But sourcing has been pretty well for me. Like, I don't know, I think a lot of people are getting out of it too. I think during COVID, a lot of people got in, uh, started and now they're getting out of it. So, you know, I see a lot of people come and go. Um, usually when I meet people, they're around for like a few months and then I see them kind of disappear. So um, there's a few OGs that have been around for a while, but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to finish uh, shipping here and then uh, I'm going to head out. So if you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe and yeah, have a good day.